Hi learners, this is Sir Bambi and welcome to my class. In this video, we are going to learn about internet threats and let's start. The malware. Malware, short for malicious software, is a blanket term for viruses, worms, trojans, and other harmful computer programs hackers use to wreck distractions and gain access to sensitive information. Malware is designed to damage your computer. The different types of malware programs. Let's start with the virus. A computer virus is a type of malicious code or program written to alter the way a computer operates and is designed to spread from one computer to another. Virus is a self-replicating program that is designed to infect a computer by rapidly spreading from one file to another. The worms is a type of malware that spreads copies of itself from computer to another computer. A worm can replicate itself without any human interaction and it does not need to attach itself to a software program in order to cause damage. Computer worms are among the most common types of malware. They spread over computer networks by exploiting operating system vulnerabilities. The Trojan Horse A Trojan Horse or a Trojan is a type of malicious code or software that looks legitimate but can take control of your computer. A Trojan is designed to damage, disrupt, steal, or in general inflict some other harmful action on your data or network. A Trojan is a program that cannot reproduce itself that masquerades as something the user wants and tricks them into activating it so it can do its damage and spread. The Spyware Spyware is loosely defined as malicious software designed to enter your computer device, gather data about you, and forward it to a third party without your consent. And spyware can also refer to legitimate software that monitors your data for commercial purposes like advertising. Spyware aims to gather information about a person or organization and send it to another entity in a way that harms the user. And we have the adware. Adware or advertising supported software is software that displays unwanted advertisements on your computer. Adware programs will tend to serve you pop-up ads, can change your browser's homepage, add spyware, and just bombard your device with advertisements. It is a simply it is simply a software application in which advertising banners are displayed while a program is running. And we have the ransomware. Ransomware is malware that employs encryption to hold the victim's information at ransom. A user or organization's critical data is encrypted so that they cannot access files, databases, or applications. A ransom is then demanded to provide access. Ransomware is often designed to spread across the network and target database and file servers and can thus quickly paralyze an entire organization. In short, ransomware is a form of malware that encrypts a victim's files. The attacker then demands a ransom from the victim to restore access to data upon payment. Then we have the rootkit. Rootkit is a type of malware that is designed so that they can remain hidden on your computer. But while you might not notice them, they are active. Rootkits give cybercriminals the ability to remotely control your computer. 
Rootkit allows an unauthorized user to have privileged access to a computer and to restricted areas of its software. And let's uh, learn the other internet threats. The farming. Farming is a form of online fraud involving malicious code and fraudulent websites. Cyber criminals install malicious code on your computer or server. The code automatically directs you to bogus websites without your knowledge or consent. Or it is a technique used to redirect a legitimate website's traffic to another legitimate website in order to gain access to a user's personal information. And we have the phishing. Phishing is a type of social engineering attack often used to steal user data, including login credentials and credit card numbers. It occurs when an attacker, masquerading as a trusted entity, dupes a victim into opening an email, instant message, or text message. The recipient is then tricked into clicking a malicious link which can lead to the installation of malware, the freezing of the system as part of a ransomware attack, or the revealing of sensitive information. Phishing is where attacker sends a fraudulent message designed to trick a human victim to into revealing sensitive information. Then we have the spam. Spam is any kind of unwanted, unsolicited digital communication that gets sent out in bulk. Often spam is sent via email, but it can also be distributed via text messages, phone calls, or social media. Spam has been a problem in many different media, and invariably arises whenever a medium allows people to send many messages without per message charges. We have the hoax. Hoaxes are emails typically arriving in chain letter fashion that often describe impossible events, highly damaging malware, or urban legends. And that ends our lesson about internet threats. Don't forget to subscribe to join my class, like this video for your attendance, and of course hit that bell. Para hindi ka malate sa class ko, this is Sir Bambi and Yuminao evaporate. Bye bye.